it does work, so it should be alive. Hello, everybody on YouTube. Welcome back to another video today. We are back with some Planet Zoo. And you know, guys, as you guys can already see, I've started up another, I started up another thing, another zoo. And instead of it being called an actual zoo name, we called it Adventure Shows. The test five. And as you guys can see, there's two little things here. You might be wondering, Zach, what the hell is this stuff? Well, if you guys haven't been watching plans and stuff, you would see that we really... Frontier, what are you thinking? We need birds. So, about the birds. Thank God we've got some people on the Steam Workshop and I actually thought about making like these little birds. Like just they're like placeable birds. They're of course they're never gonna move. But like still, when I went to the zoo, which I'm still editing actually, I need to ask my sister to edit. When I went to the zoo and like I saw all these bird stuff, I was like, why does Frontier not have this in the game? So thankfully all of my questions were answered with one simple answer. I'm not thinking of the of the community. I'm not thinking about us. And where's the bird I put in here? I'll never know. We will never know. Okay, we will not talk about what happened to the bird. Okay, we will not talk about it. We will not look, we will not talk about it in the comments. We will not talk about it out loud. Because I know that you guys are probably talking. So stop, please. So, anyway, we are going to be building our very first habitat, which is going to be, if we, actually, if we look over at the Zoopedia, we will see that the very first animal that we are going to make, or the very first real animal that we will make into this park will be the Golden Lion Tamarian. I have no idea how to pronounce things. So they are actually endangered with only three, with 3,200 left in the wild. They're from Brazil and South America. And you have up to 840 perfect guests can enter habitat. Yes, thank God. So, um, I'm do that number. So they would probably make at least one every time they have offs, or they'll probably make only one offspring. And they could be with the Colombian white faced computation monkey. Good to know. I mean, okay, perfect. Can't move it. So, anyway, we're going to actually make. An un an uplift no 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 we are not never mind instead what we are going to do is make a really cool looking habitat at least the, to the best of our of my ability and I'll try my best to make it look as cool as possible actually but to make it look even cool to make make it look like, it's going up a little. Like, this could be, like, the where the main viewpoint is. Like, those two. And then, like, we can make it go down a little. So. Heat. And I'll go behind these buildings. Or behind the staff buildings, I should say. So then, like, I can make it be like, whoa, this is where you can mostly see them, and then, like, that, and then going down. Yeah. 
I thought that was pretty sick. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks kind of cool? I think it does. Let me just make this a little bigger. And make this a little bit bigger so it's like a, it's coming off the thing. Okay, now I meant no. Back. No. Ooh, undo. Yeah, there we go. So that's gonna be good. And then we can put like the path. Oh, oh yes, it's a step path. No step path. We want a normal path. Yes. So we'll have it go like that and then align to grid. And then bada bing, bada boom. Now the visitors can just walk along here. And just select grid. There we go. Right in the dead center, right? Let's just call it dead center. So, of course, you can't have any educational points for this exhibit. But, I just think we can just put this above the habitat. So, see if we can, yeah, we can enter the habitat now. And then, um, just put like a nice, like, on top viewing point. Like that. And just for a place where people can just chillax. Then deselect grid, and this can be going down that way. Nope, no, no, no. Mm, sure. Why? Oh okay. god, I don't want to go down. And then this one can just loop back around to there. Um, there we go. And then just turn on the 90 degree thing. Okay, impossible to do so. There we go. And we'll have you go in that way. So, this is going to be our viewpoint. And, like, you can actually, like, I guess you can get a pretty good view of them. Now it's time to add everything else. The construction pieces, the habitats. Like the food bowl for them, the food is the main point. Maybe we could get like some nice, like, cool, like decorations. I could go props, maybe. I feel like, like, maybe they could be in like a South African animal, Southeast Asia pack. I wish they had stuff in the Southeast Asia animal pack. Like, why could it have just been a little bit more animals? Or is there a little bit less animals? So if we maybe like do like a nice little like wind no not no like a nice archway and we could have like let's see put like a nice archway um a lot of planning's gonna go into this guys this isn't just gonna be our basic one two three boom habitat no I'm gonna make the viewing point indoors. And boom, boom, this could be like that, boom, boom, just continuously, just putting a bunch of stuff here, 
There we go. Oh, it's not even. Oh no, it's gonna bug me a lot. There we go. go now we go like here archway if I shorten this just a little bit 13 meters let's say oh that's right the 90 degree thing just make a nice 13 meter path. Boom. Maybe we'll be able to do a nice little archway. Let's see. Nice little archway, and then we'll uh, tunnel square. This is cool. I like this. Yeah, this is mine. Okay, guys. So, I'm. Um, I think that's gonna be it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, see you guys in the next one. Peace.